Hey, what is up guys? This is Garrett from OGads.com. I'm going to go ahead and show you how to create a brand new TikTok ad account. Now, this doesn't matter if you've been banned in the past. This will allow you to create a fresh account. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Now, the first thing you will need today is a little software called Incognition. Now, this software is basically a internet uh, browser that is anti-detect so they won't be able to detect if you have created an ad account in the past um, this is completely free so I'm not trying to sell you guys on this or anything you can see right here they have a starter pack where you can sign up for up to three profiles for absolutely free so you want to go ahead and install this software I've already installed it the next thing you will need to do is get a residential proxy. What I would recommend doing is going to Google and typing in residential proxies and you're going to be given a ton of different options. I'm not going to be giving you my provider today but feel free to message me and I can help you out. Once you have that set up, you want to go ahead and make an account on this site called SMS PVA. Now this isn't required, but if you don't have additional phone numbers, then you will need to sign up for SMS PVA. What this website does is it gives you phone numbers that you can rent for a limited amount of time, and it'll make a lot more sense in a few minutes. Let's begin. Real quick, before we dive in, here's a quick message from our sponsor, OGAds.com. This is OGAds in a nutshell. Make a site. Lock content, copy code for locker, add code to website, get traffic, and make money. Pretty simple, right? Each time a visitor downloads an app or completes an offer, you get paid. Let's say hypothetically they downloaded the app TikTok. As an example, you could get paid $14. It's a great way to earn passive income. There's hundreds of different apps that can be downloaded through a content locker. Want to learn more? Well, head on over to OGAds.com and get started for free today. Okay, so we are in the Incognition software. What we want to do now is once you're signed in, you're going to go ahead and see this page and you want to click New Profile. Now, once you're under New Profile, we're going to go ahead and name it. So we're just going to type in Add Account Number 1, click Randomize Fingerprint, and then Add Proxy. At this point, we will go ahead and select HTTP Proxy and enter our proxy. Once you have that complete, click check proxy and it will go ahead and try to check and see if it is active. Looks like we're good to go. So I'm going to click create profile and we are now in. I'm going to click start. Once you click the start button, it will open like an internet browser. And what you want to go ahead and do is search for Gmail. Now you need to create a fresh Gmail account and this is where we're going to be using the phone number from SMS PVA. Um, so let me go ahead and create an account really quick and then I will be right back. Alrighty, so I'm going to go ahead and verify my Gmail. So this is where the phone number will come into place. If you don't have multiple phone numbers, you're going to have to use SMS PVA to get the phone numbers. Um, but yeah, this is the quickest way I could find to get uh, through all this. So I'm going to go ahead and verify my account really quick and then I'll be back. Okay, so we just created our Gmail account. What we're going to do now is open up a whole new tab and go ahead and type in TikTok Business Center. Now, once you go ahead and search that, you're going to go ahead and see all of these different results. Go ahead and look for this one right here where it just says TikTok Business Center. If it says like TikTok for Business, that's not the right one. So we're going to click this one right here. And then once you get onto this page, Okay, so we are now on the sign up page. I'm going to go ahead and enter my email and then let me go ahead and enter a password and then I'll be right back. Now you're going to be shown this page right here. You need to go ahead and select that I'm an advertiser and not I'm an agency. So let's go ahead and click I'm an advertiser and then we will go ahead and set it to United States. At this point, you can go ahead and enter a random company name. So I'm going to go ahead and just enter something random. and we'll copy that down to the business center name and then I'm gonna go ahead and change the time zone doesn't really matter you can set this to anything and then click create okay so now that we're in the business center account I'm gonna show you exactly how to create your ad account let me break it down a little bit so a business center is basically an ad account for a a large business so let's say you you owned a business with a hundred employees you could manually create a hundred ad accounts for each employee using a business center account so what we're gonna do is go ahead and click under uh, accounts right here 
and once you go under accounts it's going to allow you to create your first ad account so let's go ahead and wait for it to load and then we will go ahead and just enter a random industry we can put uh, a name in so let's go ahead and type in a name and phone number so what we want to do is go on google and type in what is my address and this website will show you an an estimated address based off your IP address so let's go ahead and do that and it says we're in Oklahoma City so let's go ahead and get a phone number from Oklahoma City alright we got that and click submit okay so what you want to go ahead and do now is click create new and then we're going to go ahead and create an account name. So we can just do the same thing we did in the last one. Put a time zone. This doesn't really matter much. Just go ahead and enter whatever time zone you're in. And you don't need to enter any of this, like the business phone number or anything. Just go ahead and click submit. And there we are. So it's going to ask for your billing information. What you're going to do is go under, I think, business settings. Or no, it's verification and we will go ahead and go back to our address and enter it right here okay so once you enter your billing information this doesn't need to be your own personal billing information you can just use the website that I provided you and it's gonna give you a random address now once you have that complete you will need to move on to payment so you're gonna need to add a debit card or like a PayPal or something so you need to go ahead and link your payment okay so we just added our billing information what you want to do now is go ahead and click under accounts and yeah, you should basically be set up to go so you just want to go ahead click on your account that you created and then go ahead and click ads manager once you click that it's gonna send you directly into your ad account and you can start submitting ads immediately so the cool thing with the business center you're instantly approved so you don't have to wait any time whatsoever to submit your ads so click accept and yeah we're we're directly into it so we can just go ahead and click under campaigns and at this point you can start setting up your campaigns if you have any questions feel free to drop them below and if you're looking to monetize your traffic or content definitely check out ogads.com i've been using them for many years now and it's perfect if you're a beginner or an advanced marketer hope you guys enjoy this and until next time see ya